do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter animal husbandry and in that we are studying topic in breeding now when i say in breeding it simply means that closely related organisms or cattle or poultry animals are breeded for generations at least 4 to 5 so let's study and find out little bit more during inbreeding what happens is that we all know during inbreeding the animals who are closely related in appearance in their features which have ancestral property or are descendants are mostly used now basically superior males of a particular breed and superior females of that particular breed are mated together now in the case of cattle if i talk about cows or jersey are used whereas on the male side basically bulls of superior family are used for mating or inbreeding process this inbreeding process goes down for at least 4 to 6 generation just to obtain that pure line breed which could produce greater quality and quantity of dairy products also it has to be disease resistant to some level now evolution of pure line is done only after few generations also homozygosity and heterozygosity can be obtained in different species in breeding now in simple language we could say that in breeding involves species or cattle which belong to same family or same ancestral group also during this process of mating is done among species which have similarities in appearances look or genetic makeup now they have to belong to the same breed or same family if it is a sahinwal family it has to be in breeding between two species belong to that family for this a superior male which is bull and a superior female now the female could be a cow and a buffalo depending upon the requirement which produces greater quantities and quality of milk during inbreeding what's taken care of is that always superior species which have superior genetic additions or gene accumulation is obtained and that's done after four or five generation of inbreeding continuously and the undesirable traits which are not required are slowly eliminated in this process
Now, increase in productivity or the number of bred increases during breeding process. Also, inbreeding for continuous generations can lead to fertility problems or low productivity, which may cause or may be called as inbreeding depression. Just to overcome that inbreeding depression, breeding may be done with species which are similar but are unrelated or mate which are unrelated of the same origin or of same family can be used to just to overcome this problem. So students in this part of the chapter what we did study was about inbreeding and how inbreeding is done. I hope you all are very clear with this concept. Thank you.